Hi everyone, this is Luxdose, and today I'm bringing you a quick Wikoris video guide. We're going to be creating a help bar for your Wikoris. So that has been asked by a lot of you in the comments, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually pretty simple. So right now I'm on my death night, but you can do that with any of my Wikoris uh, for all 12 classes. All you need to do is have at least the group uh, for resources loaded, right? So currently I have the Death Knight resources loaded. And what I want to get is any of the resources bar. So for my Death Knight, it's runic power. For rogue, it's going to be energy. For mage, it's going to be mana. Get any bar and simply duplicate it and rename it Elf. Okay, we're almost done. So this is going to be a very quick video. Make sure you make sure you stay tuned, right? So. Once we're done with that, with the duplicating, we're going to go into trigger. And instead of having power in here, we're going to change it to L. Okay, so it's going to be status L player. And that's it. We're done, right? So we're going to go in here, change the color to some green, some nice green, just to make it uh, appear a little like the, the default UI. And let's move it up, because currently there is no space in my UI for... For a complete elf bar like that so there you go it's showing up right there so if i go in combat with this dummy it's gonna go down because i'm gonna get it in the face what if i want to see my elf percentage right so we're gonna go in here right or left text we're gonna type c for custom so uh percent c this is gonna be a custom function you go in here and you type all of that out so you can copy it, or I'm just simply going to put it down in the comments below so you can get this nice little function. This is only going to return your ELT as a person number. There you go. So you can type it yourself or copy it from the comment below. It's going to be available, and that's all you need to do. So if I go in here and get myself hit, there you go. So my ELT is going to go down, and you're going to be able to see what's your ELT percentage, right? So that's pretty, that's pretty useful. Uh, you might not want to have the number in the bar. How do you do that if you don't want to have the number in the bar? If you want to have it outside, in the middle, or anywhere else on the screen, maybe. All you have to do, okay, is simply, instead of having uh, an ELT bar like that, so, for example, you can duplicate it and rename it ELT number, and we're going to convert it to text. It's It's that simple, okay? So the trigger is going to be the exact same thing. And the display text here, we're going to type C. And it's going to have the exact same thing. There you go. So now I'm seeing my L percentage, but as a number. And I can, I can put it anywhere I want on the screen. It can be the size that I want. It's just going to show me my L percentage. You can do that for mob. So if you want to see the, the, the boss HP percentage at all time, simply change that number trigger to target it's that simple so if i go if i target something it's going to show up 100 percent because all of these are at 100 percent right if i don't target anything it's not going to show up so that's pretty cool so let's say that i want to i'm going to delete this because it's it's enough for me to see it at the end of the bar right okay so let's do something cool let's add a condition and let's do l percentage so if i'm at let's say 60 percent that's getting low, right? That's getting a little bit low. So let's change the bar color to maybe some orange. Okay, so if uh, if you want to have this, you need to download Color Picker Plus. Otherwise, you're not going to have this nice, uh, this nice color picker, right? Let's go and add another L percentage. And let's do... Well, no, let's not do equal, actually. Let's do smaller or equal, okay? And then this one, let's do smaller or equal to 30. We're going to have... Whoops. We're actually going to remove that one. I missed click right there. So let's remove that. We're going to do bar color. And we're going to put it red. Because now you're in danger. It's it's not looking good anymore. You're in danger. Okay. So let's, let's try it out. We're going to go down. Okay. Orange. Orange. I should probably leave before I die. And there you go. Red bar. So that's a nice way of, of, of tracking your HP, right? It's a little more customized than this one. You can add different gradient of color for every 1%, 10%, however you feel like co co configuring it, right? 
but that's pretty cool let me show you how to customize it a little further more so if you want to include it right in here you would have to lower down uh, the group for the um, for the utilities right so you can go in here grab the the utilities group simply get it and for example right now i'm just gonna see it's at this so i'm gonna copy it and then you can lower it down and put your health bar in here there you go i'm just gonna put it in here we're gonna make sure it lines up so right now it's to it's if i want to have it wherever i so i want to have it higher up and i have it lower down just like that so now i have this huge health bar in my interface that's pretty cool right so That's pretty cool for me. So for now, if I heal myself up with some, uh, let's get some proc or not. One crusader. Okay. So you still, you still get how it works, right? So it's, it's going to be pretty simple. You can, you can customize it. You can increase the, the width of it, the, the length of it and the height, whatever you want. Right. So you can go back in here and you can simply have your mouse right up there and you can do pretty much whatever you want with this so you can have a huge L bar you can change the the color of it you can change the background so if you don't want to have a black background you go into the bar color setting and then you can change the alpha you can change anything so play with those try to have it set to your needs and and see and see what you like in here so you can have this load only in combat. Uh, you can have this load only in certain instance. So you can check those out, see see whatever feels good to you, and you're gonna be able to customize it. So you can show absorb and coming ill. You can you can do whatever you want. Okay. So this is very nice. You can do example in coming ill. It, it has to be greater than a certain percentage for it to show or something. So. You can customize this however you want and have your own health bar built into your weak orders. So this is it for me uh, in this quick little video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe. Come watch me on Twitch. We have these done every week so you can come watch me do them live. And if you have any question or anything else you want to learn with weak orders, make sure you type it down in the comments below. That's it for me. I'll wish you good luck in BFA, guys.